Okay, so just to recap, we've taken our rose madder and we started to mix it with each one by one of the other colours in our box. Here we produce the complete selection of rose madder mixed one by one with each of the other colours in the box. We moved on to our vermilion here and started to mix our vermilion one by one with each of the colours in the box. This produced eventually a sheet like this. It will take a bit of time and obviously the most important point is just to be able to get the idea of the different colours, the amazing array of different colours and not because it has to be very very neat or exact. Just to be able to give yourself an array of different colours which will, you'll be then later be able to use in some amazing watercolour paintings. We moved on to the next colour in our box which in this case was raw umber. Mix that with all the other colours in our box one by one. Then with cobalt and mix that with the other colours in the box. Lastly we came to ultramarine and as you can see now there's less colours to mix because we've already done them in the, the major uh, earlier on and we've mixed the ultramarine with the remaining colours in the box. Now that of course is um, an example of using this particular colour box starting with the rose madden, vermilion etc. Your colour box may be different. Here's another example. Here is a, a colour box which starts with rose madden. It actually starts with vermilion, not rose madden. Um, it goes on to ultramarine, etc. So it's a different um, lineup of the colours. You may even get a brand new box such as this. With this one, it starts with Windsor Blue and carries on to various different colours that we haven't even mentioned but you would use the same system. Um, this obviously has not even been opened, so you'd open the little boxes and find yourselves with the um, small palettes of paint. And you would be able to do exactly the same system. So really, the point being, it doesn't matter which paint box you have or which um, array of colours that you have, uh, you will still be able to work out the same system by simply taking one main colour um, and being able to use this system to be able to mix it one by one with each of the other colours in your box until you have a large sheet of paper or maybe even many many sheets of paper of all different colours and variations of tones and shades that you will be will be later on very essential to creating unique and vibrant paintings. <laughs>